I'm part of the ones that get the chips out of it, but Jim's not afraid to put them in. 10 minutes after the car's running, he's out doing donuts. So it's hard for me to see that. Jim Ring. I own a company called Ring Brothers uh, in Classic Auto Body with my brother Mike. I'm Mike Ring and I'm a half owner of the Ring Brothers. Growing up, we're the youngest of seven, Mike and I. My dad owned an old Skelly gas station. We used to do anything to be part of gas or anything that ran was, was really cool to us. I found a 69 Camaro, a pace car. I really wanted the car, I had no money. Walked into a bank down there, they didn't know me from Adam and wanted to borrow $5,000 to buy this car and they actually gave it to me. So I gotta really kinda attribute that to starting this business because uh, I drug that car home, I restored it in my mom's basement. But meanwhile, we were restoring cars in another building right down the road. Did a lot of different vehicles. We've done Ford GTs for Stopper Classics, Porsches, uh, a lot of different cars. Mike ended up getting into business with me. Restoring cars was a little boring for us, so we ended up uh, just start cutting them up. The first car we were really noticed for was a 68 Camaro. It was a yellow car. We completely cut that car up. It was way over the top. We took it to our first car show and everybody's looking at us like, what is wrong with you guys? Why would you cut up a perfectly good 68 Camaro? We could never find any cool parts, you know, it seemed like when you'd show up with a car, all of the parts came from the Jags or the Summits. We really didn't like, we had to show up with what everybody else had, so in the beginning we'd start modifying some of the bought and parts, and you know, when that became really unsuccessful, um, we just started building parts. I think that's really what set the bar a little higher, because we'd show up with things that nobody's seen before. The reaction is that every car we do, it's just something different, but it still looks like a car that we've done. Mike and I really try hard to be making our cars look a little more OEM or think about how we think it should have been built instead of how it actually was built. And of course, there's a lot of technology that comes into play there because these cars Obviously today, there's so much out there for technology where in the past, we all know, just the way they ran and drove, even from brand new, were not that great. I think it's just little things that uh, separate it. It's not just door gaps, it's not just straight paint. It's just the little things and a lot of carbon work. You really enjoy sanding and creating and making plugs to to be different. People come in here, God, is that all you do is sand? Pretty much, but I really enjoy it. We're not afraid to put 80 hours into a part and then throw it in the dumpster because we hate it. Let's face it, these cars are all hand built. And just because it looks great on a piece of paper doesn't mean it looks great on the car. We're lucky enough to be called the Ring Brothers, but there's definitely people behind there that make us Ring Brothers. It's not just Jim and I. From Sean to Randy and Nika, it takes a lot of people to be the Ring Brothers. It's pretty neat that we're known all over the world, and who would ever think two guys from a town of 600 could get noticed? That's what drives me. It's not money, it's just that somebody looks at me and being good at what I do.